I know sometimes it feels like losing weight and getting in shape is like mission impossible. But I'm here to remind you that with God, all things are possible. I'm Tamara Jackson, and this is Faith and Fitness. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was encumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Luke ten thirty nine through 42. It's hard to know what type of impression Jesus' words had on Martha. Scripture doesn't record her response. But the fact that this exchange is left on record for us is vitally important. There is a spiritual lesson with physical and psychological impacts wrapped up in this text. Let's take a deeper look. What did Mary have that Martha needed? What was the good part Mary chose and why should we follow in Mary's footsteps? I have yet another confession to make here on Take It to the Max. This scripture has always made me feel a little uneasy. Why? because I could identify with Martha more than Mary. And clearly that was not the side I was supposed to be on. Mary was the good one, focused on fellowshipping and being with Jesus, while Martha was caught up in doing for Jesus. I've always been a hard worker in and out of the church, and this biblical account challenged my priorities. Was I as dedicated to spending time with Jesus as I was working for him? Sadly, the answer was no, and this scripture was a painful reminder of that. What's worse is this misplacing of priorities spilled over into every area of my life. I was grossly in balance, spending most of my time working on my job or working in the church, negatively impacting my energy and stamina. The good news is I've started to make some progress. I'm now in the habit of morning prayer, praise, and spending time in the word. And at the end of last year, I started easing my way into practicing the Sabbath. I started out dedicating four straight hours a weekend to not working. I know, right? But it was a big deal for me. Then I progressed to eight hours. And now I am up, praise God, to a full 24-hour period, generally from 7 p.m. on Saturday to 7 p.m. on Sunday. The bad news is I am still adjusting. My mind still feels like it's racing 100 miles an hour. I'm still tempted to check my business email and return phone calls, and I still have to talk to myself to convince myself to take this time away. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I am committed to the process of reinventing me. What about you? Over the last couple of years, as I have done book signings and speaking events, I've come to realize that I am not alone. Like clockwork, women and some men pull me aside and confide in me, a perfect stranger, that they aren't enjoying their lives, at least not as they should. Like Martha and me, they find themselves spending so much time doing that very little time is left for being and enjoying. And that's a shame because John 10.10 reminds us that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. But we have to choose that good part that Mary chose in order to experience it. Listen, if you are struggling with balance, I want to invite you to join me for a special free event that I'm hosting. It starts tomorrow and runs through Friday, June 5th, and we'll be meeting at 8 p.m. nightly. All you need to participate is an internet connection 
and an open mind. Tony Robbins famously said, if you do what you've always done, you will get what you've always gotten. Isn't that the truth? If you're ready for something different, then you have to do things differently. So sign up for this free event. Here's the website, www.joincoachtam.com. That's www.joincoachtam.com. It's a special website for a special event, one that you don't want to miss. Take care, and I'll talk to you next week on Take It to the Max. You've been listening to Faith and Fitness with me, Tamara Jackson. I hope you've enjoyed the segment. If you'd like to learn more about my journey to health and wholeness and receive free fitness and nutrition tips, visit my website at 265point.com. And yes, I am on social media. You can find me on Facebook at Tamara Jackson Fitness Expert. On Twitter, it's at Fitness Tamara. In case you're not sure, that's T-A-M-A-R-A. Listen, I've had a blast and I hope that you have too. So let's meet again right here next week on Take It to the Max. Take care and God bless.